What's up everyone, I'm Alan Thrall, and today I'm gonna show you guys how to train your pull-ups even if you cannot do one unassisted bodyweight pull-up. Now, starting strength did just beat me to it. They recently posted a video about how to get your first pull-up, and in that video, Rip talks about jumping pull-ups with a negative. That's mentioned in this video, along with some other ideas. First off, losing body weight is automatically going to improve your ability to do pull-ups. The lighter you are, the easier it is to pull yourself up to a bar. It's a crazy concept, right? I mentioned this because a lot of people seem to think that, well, if I just drive my barbell numbers up, my pull-ups will increase automatically. It can in some cases, but not always. I know people who can deadlift 500 pounds, but still can't do one strict body weight pull-up. Losing weight works for pretty much everyone, every time. Unless you are losing weight because you have the coronavirus, that's probably not gonna help your pull-ups. Band assisted pull-ups. I'll show you two ways that I rig these bands up. The first way, you're just gonna put a band right down the center of the pull-up bar. You can either put just your knee in for less assistance, or you can put a full extended leg for more assistance. But I'm gonna show you my preferred way of doing band assisted pull-ups. You need a power rack for this method. From here, you just stand on the band and perform a pull-up. Personally, I like this way better than the band down the center of the pull-up bar because it feels a bit more like a normal pull-up and you can calibrate the assistance of the band by just moving the pins higher or lower. You also don't have to worry about having the band in front of your face, pulling out your beard hair. The next movement is a jumping pull up with a slow negative. Now you can jump straight from the floor. You can jump from a sturdy platform or bench. You could also jump from the safeties in a power rack. I can't stress enough the importance of only doing these jumping pull ups if you have a sturdy pull up bar that is bolted in place or that is within a power rack. Don't do jumping pull ups if you only have rings or one of those pull-up bars that slide inside of a door jam because there's a high likelihood that you're gonna knock the rings or the pull-up bar out of the way as you jump up to the bar. Next exercise is called a flexed arm hang, which is where you hold the top position of a pull-up. I'm standing on a ladder, grab the rings here, and you hold yourself in position. You can do this for multiple sets of a certain time, five sets of 20 seconds, five sets of 25 seconds, five sets of 30 seconds. It's really gonna depend on the difficulty of the flexed arm hang. Personally, if I was your pull-up coach, what I would have you do is hold the flexed arm hang position as long as you can within a five minute time period. So grab two timers. One timer is gonna run for five minutes straight. The other timer is only gonna run while you're holding that flexed arm hang position. Start the timer, hold on as long as you can. Drop down, stop the timer, and rest. Start the timer, jump back up, and hold on. Drop, stop the timer. At the end, see how long you held that flexed arm hang position in that five minute time period. Or you could use the lap or split time feature on your phone's stopwatch. If you have a buddy or a spouse or a family member in the house with you, they could also just time you. Next up, we've got inverted rows. Now, the more vertical your body is, the easier these are, the more horizontal your body is, the more difficult they are. So as the bar goes lower and lower, these get more and more difficult. Once you've reached the lowest setting that you can with arms fully extended, you could also put your feet up on a bench to make your body even more horizontal. For a lot of this stuff, I really like timed AMRAP sets. So I might prescribe five minutes, six minutes, seven minutes, eight minutes. And within that time, I'll do as many reps as I can. Sets, reps, rest period is all up to you. Just see, hey, in six minutes, I got 62 reps. Next time, I'll try to get 70 reps. Next is the leg assisted pull up. This is a tie down strap that I got out of my truck. One leg in, kick it out in front of you. I realize this looks really stupid, but you're in your garage. Nobody here to see you. 
And last but not least, increasing your push-up strength will increase your pull-up strength. Push-ups train your upper body, your shoulder girdle, your arms, isometrically train your lats, and again, it will help with your pull-up strength. I would suggest doing the push-up pull-up pyramid that I explained in that coronavirus workout video, but you're gonna swap out the pull-ups for a flexed arm hang. You'll do one push-up, 10 seconds of flexed arm hang, two push-ups, 10 second flexed arm hang, three push-ups, 10 second flexed arm hang. You'll continue increasing the number of push-ups until you fail to get the next number of push-ups. If you'd like, you can do longer than 10 second flexed arm hang. I think that's just a good place to start. That's it everyone, thanks for watching. Good luck in getting your first pull-up. Always remember, tread on time.